you too what's good with everything water and water is everything my familiar i got for you guys a very good stasis hunter build we're going to be using the renewals grass that in dead and kindless and the quick silver storm and the apex predator i'm telling you we got varieties of weapons that's going to go crazy this is a really good end game build if y'all like this type of video man please even like and subscribe almost to 700 subscribers let's get to a thousand probably by the end of this year man if we can do that for me that'll be grateful but yeah let's get straight into this video starting off with this video we're going to be using the exotic armor renewal renewals grass now renewals grass is one of the best exotics to use for end game for its defense and its ability to freeze a lot of enemies so the perk for this exotic is your dust field grenades have a much larger effect radius allies inside a dust field grenade take reduced damage and targets inside the area deal reduced damage this is really good for onslaught for any like solo or end game because having enemies that with your with your grenade that now has a l larger radius having enemies in that will do reduce damage and makes them frozen and it's really good because when you're doing onslaught when they come a certain wave you can just throw a grenade and they just gonna get freezed in there you can d destroy the crystal shard that's in there and just keep on going crazy with your weapons at the same time getting a lot of your a lot of your grenade back because we're gonna be using grenade kickstart which is gonna reduce the the, the amount of grenade we use so that's going to be really good. Um, this is a really good exotic for end game content. I'm telling you and pair this up with the weapons we got is going to take this to the next level because you got you got crowd control and you got defense for you and your team. So that's really good. So if you don't have this exotic and you like stasis, you need this. It's really good. It makes stasis a lot better and takes your grenade to the next level, too. But yeah, let's get into our weapons. Quicksilver goes really good with strand. In my opinion, I feel like it's really fun to use, especially when you have your artifacts that gives you unraveling rounds. So now you're doing a really good, insane like damage with those, and it's just gonna go around while the enemies are frozen. But also, one of my weapons that I recently got too, I got the embedded kindness, and I was able to get the god roll with uh deacon rounds and volt shot. Now, this is really good too because you're just gonna be straight through all enemies. This is one of the best weapons in the game right now and if you don't have it any role works honestly is really good just in general but the god role is which i have here which is with high velocity rounds for one of your and also comes with quick launch then you have beacon rounds and you have vault shot and i'm also using this surrendering um our artifact perk too to make this do more damage it's insane the tracking for this is crazy beacon does his job volt does his job it's just crowd control damage <sighs> Put this with the stasis it's, it's insane and we also got the upgraded apex predator which is going to be what i call the cleanup crew this is when you know you're doing damage you see a lot of enemies come through if you're doing onslaught or any level of um end game content you're doing and you want to wipe them out go ahead and switch that apex predator if you do not have upgraded versions um restruction and bait switch just regular is still good but obviously if you got a max you want to max it out then you got major spec which also gives you that damage too so yeah, that's really it for our weapons that we're gonna be using. Now let's get into our build. The build is very simple. Like I said, I don't really wanna go too much into this. I wanna show you guys gameplay and how this build works and actual gameplay. So for fragments, you guys can see, screenshot all of this. Um, Touch of Winter, Grim Harvest. Obviously does feel grenade because that's gonna go with your exotic, the Renewal's Grass. Um, like I said, screenshot all of this. Only super we got is the um, Silas the Squirrel. So yeah. And then for our stats, I'm at, I realized too, because I didn't know how good this build was until like I changed it up in my way, because I didn't know how much of it will it helped in solo. But for me, I go max resilience and I go recovery, and then I got max discipline, max discipline for the renewals grounds resilience because we're gonna be in end, end game content, and then recovery because we can recover our health as much. You're gonna be getting your your. You're gonna be getting your melee a lot faster because we got uh for one of the um aspects we're gonna be using which is gonna track the the shards and for one of the artifacts that allows to to spawn more shards so that's really good so have this and then for our weapon mods you guys can screenshot this too i'm going reserves for stasis and i'm going reserves for honestly you can take this out. i don't even need this but i'm going reserve for arc 
and you guys can see here screenshot this if you guys want i got some gameplay for you guys i'm trying to give out more videos i'm not trying to do too much talking i want the gameplay to do it and if you guys just you know i'm gonna have the dim link too because normally i don't have that but this time i will so yeah keep in touch for that but yeah let's get into that gameplay if you like this video leave a like subscribe show everything water i'm out that was the quickest video